day of extreme conditions as crews battle to gain the upper hand on the state's bushfire crisis. Over a hundred blazes are still burning and overnight more residents were ordered to evacuate their homes. Forty schools remain closed and authorities are warning the threat is far from over. For the very latest, we have reporter Joel Dry at Agnes Waters south of Gladstone and Ben Murphy at Queensland Fire and Emergency Service Headquarters. First to you, Joel, what are conditions like there? And they are still really nasty here in central Queensland for the many people tackling the uh, deep water fire. Extreme heat and high winds, really oppressive conditions for those men and women who are doing 12-hour rotations. They had some success last night on that deep water fire with it being downgraded from an emergency warning to a watch and act alert. But I just have been given some information that it is likely that will be put back up to an emergency warning. A leave now alert is still in place for the communities of Deepwater, Baffles Creek, Rules Beach and Oyster Creek. So far from over the fight in that region. Slightly better news to the north after yesterday some 8,000 people being evacuated from a fire at Gracemere to the west of Rockhampton. They have got on top of that one and those residents have now been able to return to their homes. That is a result that the Premier has said is a big win. This is just wonderful news. It was directly in the path of this horrific fire and the amount of courage that our frontline emergency services personnel sh showed have saved this town. About 105 fires burning around Queensland at the moment. Another of those that was of concern is to the north of here at Mount Larkham. Crews have also been able to uh, get that one under control, but the township is still too unsafe to allow residents back there. There are reports of power lines down, uh, roads closed, and also a number of structures that have been burnt out. So it will take some time before people can get back in there. Uh, the Bruce Highway, thankfully, has been reopened. That is some good news, but as the conditions continue to work, Person today, this fight How is firefighters dealing with these terrible conditions? Good morning, and Well, the best way they know how very professionally, given the testing circumstances which do lie before them. Now, there are some encouraging signs from authorities here at Emergency Management HQ, particularly with respect to the wind. That has pulled back somewhat from what we were seeing yesterday. But the flip side of this is authorities are now warning people about complacency because it's the heats which have been a real problem over the last few days, these record temperatures. And unfortunately, they're not going anywhere. In fact, this heat wave is expected to go not only into the weekend, but into next week as well. This exceptional heat and fire event um, continues. While it's good to have yesterday behind us, uh, the story is by no means over. Uh, the period of high temperatures is still unprecedented. Um, there are too many records for me to memorise. So Anne, still a very volatile situation. No doubt there will be some long days and nights here at Emergency Management Headquarters. Right, concerning times there, Ben Murphy reporting. Thank you, Ben.